into soluble form. Soluble form or usable form. Okay. Soluble form or usable form. So soil has certain bacteria that converts gaseous nitrogen into soluble form or usable form. Okay. So I will write from where do the plants obtain nitrogen. Okay. Where do the plants obtain nitrogen? Yes. We all know that. We all know that. Where plants? What? Plants? Yes, very good. We all know that plants cannot take this nitrogen in this form. Okay? Where? Which form? Yes. The plants. So, it's a question. There is a question that is from where do the plants obtain nitrogen? Okay? So, read this and you can answer this. From where do the plants obtain nitrogen? Uh, from where do the plants obtain nitrogen? Yes. So first I will write and then I will explain. Okay. So what? Uh, nitrogen. Nitrogen is present in the abundance or abundance form. Abundance in gaseous form in the air. Okay. Nitrogen is present in the abundance in gaseous form in the air. Okay. You all understand this much? Nitrogen is present in the abundance in gaseous form in the air. Okay. So, so, Next is, but plants cannot absorb this uh, form. Okay, plants cannot absorb this form. Okay, so, next. But plants cannot absorb in this form. Okay, so you can uh, understand like this, in this form. Nitrogen is present in the abundance in gaseous form in the air. Okay? So, but plants cannot absorb in this form. So, what will be happening? But plants cannot absorb in this form. Yes. So, the next thing and that is the rhizobium is a bacteria that converts gaseous nitrogen into soluble form. Thus, they can take this nitrogen. Okay? So, nitrogen is present in the abundance in gaseous form in the air, but plants cannot absorb in this form. So, what will be happening? A bacteria called rhizobium. Okay? A bacteria called rhizobium. Okay? Rhizobium. Okay, that, it's a long question, that converts, converts what? This nitrogen into soluble form. Nitrogen into, into, what? Yes, very good, into soluble form. Okay, soluble form or usable form. It can use it or it can get soluble. Okay, so nitrogen is present in the abundance in gaseous form in the air. Understand? Okay, but plants cannot absorb in this form. But plants cannot absorb in this form. So what will be happening? A bacteria called rhizobium that converts, that converts nitrogen into soluble form. They can take with, they can take along with water. Water and, so not water, water and minerals in the soil. Minerals in 
then you get paid. So are you understand this much? All of you understand this much? Very good. Okay? Very good. So what will be happening? This nitrogen. So from where do the plants obtain? This is a um, this is very um, interesting topic, right? Yeah. So nitrogen. So from where do the plants obtain nitrogen? Is a question. And the answer is and the answer is nitrogen is present in abundance in gaseous form. What gaseous form? Okay, which form? Louder. I can't hear louder. Very good. Gaseous form in the air. So understand this much. Nitrogen is present in abundance in gaseous form in the air. In the where? Air. And but plants cannot absorb in this form. What? Plants cannot absorb in this form. Who can uh, who can't absorb this form? Plants can't absorb this form. You can see here. Okay? Okay. And a bacteria called rhizobium that converts nitrogen into this gaseous nitrogen into solub soluble form. Okay? This nitrogen into soluble form. Okay? I will write. This nitrogen into that soluble form. If you didn't understand this, I will write soluble form or usable form. Okay? You all understand? So, nitrogen into soluble form or usable form. Okay. So, thus they can take along with water and minerals in the soil. Thus they can take this nitrogen along with water and minerals in the soil. Okay? So, Thus, they can take along, along with water and minerals in the soil. Okay? So, this is a question and that is nitrogen is present in the abundance in gaseous form in the air. But plants cannot take, take in this form. So, what a bacteria called rhizobium converts gaseous nitrogen into soluble form. Okay? Or usable form. Thus, they can take along with water and minerals in the soil. Understand this question? Okay? If anyone asks this question, you would suddenly say this. This is the answer. Okay? So, all of you understand this? All of you understand? Very good. So, some next topic and that is other modes of nutrition in plants. Other modes of nutrition in plants. Okay? So, the next thing and that is uh, you uh, you see different types of plants in our surroundings, right? So, some plants did not have chlorophyll and take, uh, so that plant takes a food from the other plant, okay? So, I will tell once more and that is you see so many plants in our surroundings, right? So, it's uh, uh, some plants don't have any chlorophyll and it can't make any food without food, uh, without chlorophyll or by the process called photosynthesis so it can't make any food so what they will have what they will do they will take the nutrient from the other plant they will take the nutrient from the other plant and this mode of nutrition is called heterotrophic mode of nutrition okay and this mode of nutrition is called heterotrophic mode of nutrition okay and Let's say the first the first uh, point and that is plants depend on the food prepared by the other plants. They use the which nutrition? Heterotrophic mode of nutrition. Okay. So uh, some plants did not have chlorophyll and takes the food from the other plant. It takes the ready made food from the other plant. And they use the heterotrophic mode of nutrition. Can you see this heterotrophic mode of nutrition? Okay. And so the plants depend on the food prepared by the other plants. Okay. The other plants. And they use the heterotrophic mode of nutrition. Okay. And the next uh, point and that is this plant is called the cascuda or amarbel. Okay. Or this plant is called cascuta or its original name and that is amarbel. Okay, don't be confused. This two cascuta.
Cascuta and Amarbel is one. The Cascuta's original name is Amarbel. Okay? Cascuta's original name is what? Amarbel. Amarbel. Okay? Okay. And next is. Next point. And that is. It does not have chlorophyll. It does not have. Does not have. Chlorophyll. Chlorophyll. Okay. Be energetic. You eat food? Very good. I eat food? Yes. We, so we get the energy and talk, talk, talk. Okay. So it does not have chlorophyll. So that will be happening. It takes the ready-made food prepared by the other plant. Mm, it takes the other, it takes the ready-made food prepared by the other plant. Okay. It does not have chlorophyll. Okay, so that's why it takes the ready-made food from the other plant. Okay, it does not have chlorophyll. It does not have chlorophyll. And it takes the ready-made, ready-made food mm -hmm. prepared by the other plant. Okay, can you see it? Can you see it? Okay. And the plant on which, the plant on which it climbs is called the host. Okay. The plant on which it climbs is called a host. Did you see a yellow wild plant that climbed into a tree? Did you see it? I will draw here and I don't have the picture. So I will draw. Okay. And imagine this is a tree. Okay. Imagine this is a beautiful apple tree. Did you eat apple? Did you like apple? Did you like apple? Very good. I also like apple. Okay. So imagine this is an apple tree. And this one cascuta is going to attack this plant. Okay. After some years, the this tree will be die because the cascuta will take so many nutrients from this plant. Mm -hmm. And so I will do. I don't know how to draw the cascuta. So I will be like an yellow wiry. Okay. So I will draw like this. It is like this. Okay. Like this, it climbs the tree. It attacks the tree for no tree. Okay? So this is the cascuta. This wiry like uh, drawing. And this is called cascuta. Its original name was a marble. What? A marble. Okay? It's easy. It's not very tough. Okay? Cascuta or a marble. And this is a tree. This is a tree. And this tree, a most um, what this cascuta take this plant for nutrient. Okay, so this cascuta goes to this plant and what take the nutrient from the from the plant. Okay, takes the nutrient. So this mode of nutrition is called heterotrophic. Heterotrophic. Mode of nutrition. Okay. Heterotrophic mode of nutrition. So, did you imagine? Okay, this is a tree and this is a cascuta. It takes the nutrient from this plant, and after so many years, this tree will die. This apple tree will. Die, yeah. And this mode of nutrition is called heterotrophic mode of nutrition. And let's come to this topic. And next is the plant on which it climbs. The plant on which it climbs. So this tree is called the host. Okay. So this tree, this tree is called host. Okay. This tree is called. Don't be confused. This tree is called host. Okay. Host. And what? The cascuta is called the parasite. Okay? So it takes the nutrient from this plant. This host plant. Okay? So this wiry like structure, this is called what? Cascuta and it's called the parasite. Parasite. Okay? You can see this? You can see this clearly? Yes, very good. And next is the cascuta. Is called the parasite. Okay. So did you understand this? So why I will once more I will read. The plants depend on the food prepared by the other plants. They use the heterotrophic mode of nutrition. And this plant is called the cascuta. Or and its original name was Amarbel. So original name was 
the other plant. So the next point and that is the plant of which the plant of which it climbs is called the host. The plant on which this is an apple tree and this is a cascuta. The plant on which the cascuta goes and this plant is called the host. And the cascuta is called the parasite. And this cascuta is called the parasite. And this tree is called the host and this parasite is called very good, very good. Parasite, parasite. Okay. So did you understand this much? So did, did you understand this much? Very good. Our next topic and that is about picture plant. Okay. Our next topic and that is picture plant. Okay. Picture plant. So the first point and that is the picture or jet like structure is the modified part of leaf. So first I will draw a picture and then I will uh, draw and show to you. Okay. So first I will draw a picture here. Okay. Can you see it, this picture? So, let's do slides. Okay. the mouth. 
out of the picture. Okay. And the next is inside. Inside the picture, there are hairs which are directed downwards. Which are directed downwards. Not upwards. It's are directed downwards. Okay. Inside the picture. Inside the picture, there are hairs. So, this is the picture. Plan. Inside, there are hairs. I don't know. How I draw, you can't understand. So I will not uh, drawing. I will just say. Because when I draw here, you will not understand. You will think the outer portion, the hair will be there. Okay. So I am not drawing. Okay. So inside, inside. This is a picture. And inside the picture, there are hairs which are directed downwards. So which are directed like this. Which are directed downwards. Okay. Inside the picture, there are hairs which are directed downwards okay and the lid closes and the trapped insect get digested or the lid closes and the trapped insect get entangled into the hair and what the digestive juices secreted in the picture and its nutrients are absorbed okay so here the lid closes and the trapped insect gets digested by the digestive juices secreted in the picture and here there is one point also in the picture the lid closes the lid closes and the hair so the lid closes and the trapped insect after writing I will show you okay the lid closes and the trapped insect get what happened? You said get entangled into the hair. Entangled into the hair. Okay. So the, this is the point here. The lid closes and the trap insect gets entangled into the hair. And after that, that's what the trap insect gets digested by the digestive juice. The secretor in the picture. Okay, secretor in the picture and its nutrients are absorbed. And its nutrients are absorbed. Yeah, very good. The lid closes and the trapping insect get entangled into the hair and the digestive juices are absorbed and its nutrients also are absorbed. Okay, all of you understand this? Very good. All of you understand this? This is a process. Okay, uh, so this eating, uh, this insect eating plants are called insectivorous plants. What? Insectivorous plants. Okay, the lid, this is the one, the lid closes and attract the insect. So they get entangled into the hair and the, the digestive juices secreted in the picture and its nutrients are absorbed. This insect eating plants are called insectivorous plants. Okay? Okay, all you understand? So, this is a picture plan. Inside the picture, when the insect comes, okay, I'm drawing insects. So, this is a butterfly. Okay? Okay, this is a nice butterfly. It's a cute butterfly. And when it comes into here, and it goes, goes here, the insect, this insect, what will be happening first time? The insect comes into the picture and the lid can open and close the picture. Okay. So, the next thing about then the picture. Inside the picture there are hairs, right? Which are directed downwards and the insect gets entangled into the hair. And that they are what? Digested by the digestive juices secreted in the picture. Okay. And its nutrients also are absorbed. Okay. All of you understand about this? Yeah. Eating plants, such insect eating plants are called insectivorous plants. What? Insectivorous plants. Okay. So, what of you ever understand about this picture plant? If anyone asks you about the picture plant, you want to suddenly tell this. Okay. Okay. And you can make this a lecture note. When I'm underlying, you can make a lecture note. Okay. Then it will be more good for you. Okay. To study. And this is the key points that I'm teaching you. And if you like this, um, all this, and you want to 
study about this okay and read the text for one to two to three times in a day okay then we, you will be more clear about this okay and uh, all of you understand this all of you understand this very good okay so our next interesting topic and that is saprotrophus okay saprotrophus and uh, so the first point and that is so uh, i will say after studying this i will tell one activity and that you want to do in your home okay and you all like bread all feel like bread mm -hmm. all feel like bread i love bread you uh, if you like bread comment below in the comment section okay and i will reply to it okay so take a piece of bread and pour some water into that okay take one piece of bread and pour some water into that and put it in for one day or two days two days two days it is enough and then you can see some uh, like thread like patches growing into the earth great <laughs> bread in this bread there's about uh, patches growing into this bread like thread like patches growing into this bread okay so these organisms are called fungi okay these organisms this is an organism and these organisms are called fungi okay so that is saprotrophic mode of nutrition and these these are oh, that you see that the thread like patches growing into the bread right are ah, you the, see that that organism that organism are called fungi okay that organism are called fungi okay okay to take a bread and pour some water and put it for one day or two days okay then you can see that uh, some uh, like thread like patches growing into that bread huh? you don't want to eat that okay okay you don't want to eat okay this organism are called fungi okay this organism are called fungi okay our next point and that is okay understand the first topic or sorry understand the first uh, point understand okay the so second point and that is the fungi have different mode of nutrition okay have different mode of nutrition this fungi have different mode of nutrition okay this fungi have different mode of nutrition okay can you see this okay when i am underlining you want to write it all the points in a lecture note okay you can, you can make a lecture note okay and the next point this fungi have different mode of nutrition and our next point and that is they absorb the nutrients from the bread they absorb they they very good they absorb the nutrients from the bread okay what this fungi they goes to they grow to the spread and what will be happening this fungi absorbs the fungi absorbs the nutrients from the bread okay okay so our next point and that is mode of nutrition in which so this is a uh, defined one okay defined part okay the mode of nutrition in which organism take food from death or decay that dot decay matter are called what are called what saprotrophic mode of nutrition okay i will can see how saprotrophic saprotrophic okay saprotrophic mode of nutrition okay so this mode of nutrition what is the what is the saprotrophic mode of nutrition it takes the nutrients from dead uh, dead okay dead or decaying matter okay dead or decaying matter is called this um is called saprotrophic mode of nutrition okay all of you understand this huh i think all of you understand if you have any doubt you can uh ask me in this comment box okay okay and the next point and that is such organism such organism with saprotrophic mode of nutrition are called saprotrophs okay some that organism are called saprotrophs with saprotrophic that organism with saprotrophic mode of nutrition are called saprotrophs okay sap 
have done those who like uh, and uh, comment all oh, thank you so much because when i upload one video you give this much support right i'm so 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 happy so this is very heart touching for me uh, i will remember all the time uh, about this and all and thank you thank you thank you so much i'm so 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 happy and what keep watching my video and keep supporting and keep rocking my video okay keep supporting keep watching keep rocking keep learning okay and thank you all for your subscribers thank you all and your comments are so so hard touching for me okay and i will give you the reply and don't want to be like i will not a reply i will not ready you want to reply and then i will give you a nice reply to you okay you want to uh, come in to me and i will reply and thank you so much subscribers like you, you are like my videos right thank you all and for commenting uh, viewers thank you so 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 much okay i have no words to speak because you are give such a support for me and keep supporting my videos and keep watching keep rocking and what keep learning very good you are such a supporting and you keep energetic okay eat food and keep energetic and our topic called this much and our next video will be continuing uh, in the continuation topic and that is coming on this coming monday okay and uh, if you have any doubt go and comment in the comment section and if you like this video please like the like button and if you want to subscribe you go and subscribe the subscribe button on the right side of this video and press the bell icon and if you have any 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 doubt go and comment in the comment section and i will show